Start off by starting the solo app. This is to let you choose the photo mode because we will be taking pictures. Also, I turn off ProTune. This is to simplify the post processing. With the photo mode selected, take a picture to test to make sure everything is working. And then we are ready to start the drone pan app. And here I learned something because I simply swapped between the solo app and the drone pan app. And I have no picture in the drone pan app. Of course, that's because I need to close the connection in the solo app. So go out of the solo app the normal way and then start up drone pan or switch to it. Voila, we have a picture. Ready for takeoff? Do the normal routine. Press start to start your engines. Uh, you could press fly again to take off. I prefer to take off with the sticks. Now fly out and position your solo where you want to take the panorama. It's usually better to gain some altitude. As you might notice, the SATS readings in drone pan is missing. This is probably something that will be fixed quite soon. Also, I try to position it more or less directly towards north before I start. That is because if you don't point it towards north before you start, it will jaw and position itself towards the north before starting taking the panorama. And as you can see, once started, it will tilt the gimbal so that the camera is pointing straight forward and then take pictures every 60 degrees. So now you completed the full circle and the camera tilts 30 degrees downwards before proceeding. Again, taking pictures every 60 degrees. Of course, I should have picked a sunny day, but the, the sun disappeared on me. We're coming towards the full circle again. And once completely around, it will tilt down another 30 degrees and taking more pictures. As you can see, it's wise to gain some altitude because if I had been lower, then everything would just have been white. Almost completed. It will tilt another 30 degrees down and then that means it's pointing straight down, taking one final picture. Now it's completed. Uh, unfortunately, the camera is still pointing straight down, so you have to use the paddle to point it back up. Okay. 
back into loiter and we can bring the solo back home. And again, I always land with the sticks, not trusting auto landing. Keep your left stick fully down until the engine stops and you hear the bleeps. Okay, here I have all the pictures imported. You see the first picture, I took the test picture, and after that, the first complete circle and then the rest of the pictures ending with the last picture pointing straight down we can now import these pictures into PT Kutui to make the panorama picture we select load images you can see that I have more images here, but that's because I've been doing this more times. Select the images that you want to create the panorama from and select open. Now it's as easy as select align images. It will go through all the images and find the connecting points in each of the images. And I usually just for fun make my subject in the center. That's not anything that you have to do, but it's quite okay to do so. Straighten out the panorama. And this looks quite nice from the beginning. So I go back and select Create Panorama. I can do different things here, but I usually create it. This is a simple panorama and mostly for demonstration purposes, so we go with JPEG uh, and the settings is OK. So create panorama. It exists because I did this once before. And now it's stitching all the images together. It's a process that takes some time, but considering the amount of data that it has to process, it's quite quick anyway. And it's done. Let's open up this newly created panorama image. Uh, that didn't work. Loading. And as we can see, there are some minor errors here. The, the roof isn't quite matching up. And up here, there's something funny going on behind the tree there. But 
still quite decent and you can always fix up these little errors to create a fully immersive panorama you will have to do something with the rest of the sky you can find images online with different kinds of skylines and insert and blend together to create the rest of the sky and then it's ready to upload to different sites that will support fully immersive panorama images here i have loaded the finished panorama image into around me it's a website that lets you create fully immersive panoramas that is i can now turn around and view 360 and even look straight up you can see a little bit of artifact in the top of the sky here because i cheated but uh, i can also look straight down <laughs> white being white it's quite easy to make it look nice so this is the finished product and a huge thank you goes out to Dennis Baldwin for creating drone pan this is still much work in progress uh, I downloaded it from his git account and compiled it for myself uh, it's not even in beta as of now I think but uh, it works it works great.